Hi folks, welcome to another free SQL Server tutorial from SQL Maestros. You're doing a lot of performance tuning stuff and I'm sure you know about weight statistics. Now one of the common requirements and one of the activities that you do quite often is extract the top weights from SQL Server database engine. So when your workloads are running, they're waiting on a lot of different resources and SQL Server is capturing all that information. And with the help of the DMV, you can pull out that information. Now, a simple vanilla pullout may not really help and you have to do a lot of aggregation and mathematics, etc. Now, here is a script that will give you the top weights. So I kind of comment this as extracting top weights from SQL Server. Let's go and execute this. The idea here is just not to share the script with you, but also to talk about a few important things. If you look at this script, it's a common table expression, a CTE syntax, as you can see on the screen. So first we do a lot of aggregations here. Then, uh, then we are filtering out a lot of insignificant weight types. These are system weight types that might not be important for your analysis. So we kind of filter them out. So that's the common table expression result set. And then from that result set, you do all the mathematics that you want. This is just a template. You can always customize this for your need. Now, let me scroll up and show you one important thing. The DMV that we are using is this DMOS weight stats. Well, there are not, a, there are not too many DMVs to deal with when you're talking about weight statistics. The real-time DMV is weighting tasks, and this one is weight stats. The sysdmos weight stats gives you cumulative history across the instance. So from the point you had uh, the SQL Server had started or restarted, or since the last time the weight stats were cleared off. Yes, using DBCC SQL perf statement, you can also clear off weight stats. So this DMV has a lot of historical cumulative aggregated DMV um, weight stat information. Now, the catch here is when you go and execute this, because the mathematics in this DMV is done in such a way that when you see the five DMVs here, you will think like, oh, is this a query that is giving you top five or top 10 weight stats? No, this is not, this is not doing that. You see the five weight stats listed because the total aggregated percentage, weight percentage for these five weights will amount to 100%. So if you look at the second last attribute there on the right, you will see the first one, lazy writer, will take up about 47%, then XE, extended events dispatcher, will take about 47%, and then you have SOS scheduler, yield, resource semaphore, CX packet. Now, these are the ones that you might be interested in because these are the weight types on which your workloads are actually waiting on. These are the weight types, uh, the classes that get registered when your queries are waiting on one or uh, many resources. So what you have to do is the important thing here is take up these ones, the system weight types, the insignificant ones and add them to your filter list. So let's copy this lazy writer sleep. Okay, I'm going to copy this. Let's scroll down and, and here they add more. So I've just put up a few uh, placeholders here. So let's just go and add one here, add more. Okay, let's take a, another one, XC dispatcher weight, copy this and paste them here, add more. Now, suddenly you will see the output will change completely. So this is how you got to just keep taking out the insignificant and unimportant uh, weight types and add them to your filter list. Let's check the output now. So we select this, let's go and execute. And now suddenly you will see a whole lot of different information, more meaningful, more actionable. So what you can see is SOS scheduler yield. For many, even this should be put into a filter list, but that's totally your call. Um, we'll not get into this discussion about SOS scheduler yield, but anyway, let's move forward. So you have resource semaphore, CX packet. Okay, there is another one, broker task stop. I would like to put this one as well. So let's copy this one as well here, and let's put up another one. Okay, let's add this here. Okay, and let's go and execute this. So we have CX packet, async network IO, lock, related to logs, page latch, write log, LCKMS. Okay, this looks good. Now the list looks 
absolutely good okay how did i create this workload so i was actually running a lot of workload in the background that created different types of weight types different uh, weights uh, the workloads created that so if you go to my master class folder here this was a master class that was delivered uh, 40 hours of content so i picked up one of the scripts stressing sql server from here so module one sql server architecture uh, let's jump over to um monitoring waiting tasks this is the one six underscore there you go so here i have bunch of scripts let's stress sql server so i'm double go, uh, going to double click add clients this is going to create 10 users um 10 connections simulating and stressing sql server with all sorts of workload and in some time they will complete if not i'm going to close them manually if you were with me here, you will see SQL Server CPU fan, CPU fan burning here, running in full throttle, high speed. Let's go and close them. Okay. Enough. Okay, let's just go and close all the windows again. Let's do this once more. Okay, there you go. Okay, we are done. This created a lot of different weights and now let's go and execute this again and you will see all the numbers and a few changes up and down so you will see the weight count wait time and all of that shooting up okay so that was a quick demo talking about extracting weight information most importantly the actionable user weights that you might be interested in all right where do you get the script from go to sqlmaestros.com jump over to the resources section from there you can download the script and yes of course do take a look at the masterclass recordings this masterclass which was this uh, delivered a few weeks ago the recordings of this is now available on sqlmaestros.com this is 40 hours of deep dive content hd video recording with precisely more than 500 different real world demos covering the length and breadth of SQL Server database engine from performance tuning perspective. If you subscribe, you get lifetime access to it, which is watch anytime, anywhere, as many times as you want. All right, friends, we're done for today's video, today's tutorial. Hope you liked it. Happy SQL. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you're notified on new videos. Most importantly, visit sqlmaestros.com. There's a lot of SQL learning resources out there. Video courses, master classes, lab kits, ebooks, blogs, hands-on labs, and a lot more. Follow us on Twitter, at the rate SQL Maestros, and myself, A underscore Bunsel. Last but not the least, do subscribe to our newsletters. See you soon in another video. Goodbye. Thank you.